For a university that is fundamentally about service, it's hard to imagine someone who represents that value better than Marty Allen. Starting with his time as a student here, where he performed the role of student manager in such an effective way, but continuing throughout his relationship with this university, whether president of the Monogram Club, confidant to so many people who have sat in my chair, or just a resource to the university in his generous giving of time and resources, he defines service. He is someone who cares about the university and its student athletes and its programs above all else. And because of that, Notre Dame and its student athletes and its programs are a much better place. Marty has been such a tremendous representative of the athletics department and specifically of the Monogram Club. Um, he is just the consummate Notre Dame man. He um, has such a genuine passion for this place. He is such an example um, that we hold up for our student athletes to see. Marty became president of the Monogram Club in 1997 and that was during a time when the club was experiencing a lot of growth and change, so Marty was very much a part of that, and still is today. He's so wise in his counsel that we, we always count on him and, and lean on him, really, to share his expertise and advice. You know that every decision he makes and every piece of advice that he'll give is truly at the heart of what is best for the club. As a former executive director of the Monogram Club, uh, Marty is an absolute invaluable resource. During the times, we made a lot of uh, difficult decisions, um, a lot of big decisions that affected uh, all of our current student athletes and former student athletes, and I don't think there was an opportunity where I didn't consult with Marty um, to ask his opinion on different things. You know, there's so many good memories since I've been in the Monogram Club, it's hard to single them out. And I have to tell you, probably the most single thing that I appreciate is the people that I've got to know. It's a whole new set of friendships that I have that go back quite a ways. One thing that I've found, and I do have some business relationships with folks up in Grand Rapids, that whenever you ask uh, if they know Marty Allen, they all know him and they all respect him. And uh, he clearly has been someone who has helped make Grand Rapids the, the great city that it really is. When I think of the impact that Marty's had on the Grand Rapids community, I think of a couple of things. He is an innovative businessman and he is a champion for the community. His involvement with the Grand Rapids uh, Sports Hall of Fame with the Grand Rapids Sports Commission, with Van Andel Institute, Aquinas College, uh, Mary Freebed, the Grand Rapids Symphony, United Way, it goes, the list goes on and on and on and the impact that he's had in this community. His handprint is all over the nonprofits in this community and he's made such a difference. The uh, Renaissance at Grand Rapids, I think, personally means a lot to me. You know, once in a while we gotta slow down and go up in the balloon and look down and see what we've done. But for me to see what it was and to have it personally, to have been involved with past leaders of the community and now the new leaders of the community has, has been very rewarding. Having grown up and obviously had much time with my mom and my dad and watch what they do and how they give back to the community, it's something that myself and my brother Steve and sister Kat were all very well aware of. It's just something we've seen on a daily basis. Although it probably shouldn't be shocking, it's not uncommon for us to be approached by other people and they're making mention of my father and the way in which he you know, gives back to the community, uh, his humble approach. His love of Notre Dame, it's certainly very obvious as well. So it's amazing, I think, to us how many people he's impacted by just being dad. President Ford and I, uh, our association came while he was a congressman here. And when he became president, uh, 
the plans were already in place to get started on a museum for him, and that's where I really got involved. To have the Gerald R. Ford Presidential Museum in Grand Rapids has meant so much culturally. A place for school children to be able to come to visit, for tourists, it puts Grand Rapids on the map. He was asked to show President Clinton around. Being the gentleman that he is, I'm sure he showed President Clinton a very good time around. And at the end of the tour, President Clinton said to Marty, I hope that when my time comes and there's a museum that's dedicated to, to my presidency and my career, that there's someone like Marty Allen who will be around to show people just like you did today. And I just think that shows the kind of respect that Marty gets you know, even when you meet him for the first time. Marty is a deeply devoted family man, uh, both his personal family, but also the, the Notre Dame family. And as much as we've enjoyed getting to know Marty over the years, uh, we also have enjoyed so much getting to know his beautiful wife, Sue, and the many children and grandchildren who come by Notre Dame on home football weekends. Sue and I are thoroughly enjoy and spend a great deal of our time with our children and grandchildren. And it's, it's rewarding for us, not that we had a great deal to do with it, but they seem to have a great sense of values, and we treasure that very much. I think what struck me is when I had learned he was being awarded the Moose Cross Award, I gave him a call to congratulate him, and you could tell he was shocked and honored by it. But one of the first things he said to me was, I hope everyone realizes that Mom deserves a lot of this credit. She's the one who, in his own words, my dad has said, deserves the Lifetime Achievement Award. My brother Steve put it best in, in kind of summarizing this. He said, outside of family and close friends, there is no greater love than Notre Dame for dad. His friendships at the university and their generosity toward him mean more to him than any of them probably know.